Okay, so here we are now with the next step after the round penning, video number two round penning. This would be video number three. And actually, if we get to the banners on the wall here, I'll show you this riding exercise. It's called what I call cruise control. It's been called passenger lesson because basically as the rider, I'm not micromanaging her. I'm not, you know, telling her where to go, where to turn, you know. Um, it's basically her job. I've asked her to walk and this is team effort and this is her job and she learns that this is, um, you know, her job and her part of our riding together. Um, and it's really good because uh, for the rider you can warm up your muscles. Um, and actually for the rider, like in my case, what I'm doing is I'm checking out her mood and temperament and, you know, if there's any lameness or issues. You know, is she feeling, you know, too too tired or, um, you know, that type of thing. Like I said, she still looks like she's got, um, oops, sorry. She still looks like she's got a bit of, um, you know, with the flies are tending to bother her and stuff. Um, I'm not going to be too worried about that. We're inside the arena here and they're not too bad. She's got to navigate around the dog. Um, they're not too bad. And uh, so here, oh, so here's the purpose. Okay, um, I thought I was going to have an opportunity to there to show you what the rider's basic job is and that's basically just to correct the horse if they deviate from what we're doing now so if they go too slow like they, she stops or if she goes too fast or she um, goes into some area that you know if you've got other riders in the arena and you know there's like a collision course then you have to steer her away and that's usually what I call the you know the first phase of this and you do it of course at all the you know, that all the three gates, you know, plus the jog, if you want to consider it another one. And it's a really good exercise because it gets them moving and it gets them thinking and it calms them down and, and um, you know, gets them paying attention and stuff. And again, like the horses like her that come into me, they're so used to being micromanaged. Oh, okay, so now I have to fix this here because she's, um, she's stopped and I didn't ask her to do that. So I go ahead and I fix it and then we go again. So... And you basically set yourself, you know when it's uh, time to call it a, a session, when you have little or nothing to fix. Actually, that's, so, that's actually when you're ready to know that you can go up to the jog or the trot. Um, I usually, usually start with the trot first. Um, that's when you know when you can go up there because... Um, you know, you don't have anything to fix. So in, so if that takes multiple sessions, you know when you're making progress, when you roughly know that it took you, you know, you, you only had about, uh, you started off maybe having to make 30 corrections in the five minutes, and the next day it was 10 corrections, and then the next day it's five, and see how we go here? I'm, oh, see, now there you go, see? So that's great, she knew to move on, and I didn't have to fix her, so that's good. Now, of course, just like anything, this is the gate to go back to the barn. So that's where they're going to tend to do things. And um, so as I can mention, as I... Oops, sorry about that. So as I... Oops, so she's there to stop. I don't mind if she wants to kind of, you know, pause, pause briefly to investigate, but she has to go. Um, so for the next phases, for instance, um, I can't show you right now because I've got the camera. I'm going to try to get one of those head-mounted GoPro. i got a GoPro, so I'm trying to see if I can get sort of like a you know, mounted on my, on a hat or something so I can go and show you with both hands. But the next phase would be, for instance, I would add some collecting. Um, I would add some steering. Um, if she, um, and I always like to use whatever opportunities I can. So if she comes up to one of the walls there, um, oh, so she's, welcome. Um, she stopped there, so I'm asking her to go again. Um, so if we happen to come up to one of these side walls, I'll go ahead and practice yielding hindquarters um, using the wall. Um, it's one of the uh, riding exercises. Um, it's not in the fundamentals, but it's, in, it's part of them. So um, as we come up here, I don't know if you can see, there's my colt starting. So we're just kind of going around. And, and this is good because, again, the horse doesn't get frustrated because you're not doing stuff. One of the other phases, too, that I like is... You know, I'll go ahead and, uh, especially when I'm teaching a young colt, and they ha and I'm anticipating the fact that the horse is about to turn, then I'll go ahead and put my leg cues on them, and I will put the rein cues on them, so they start doing, um, 
you know, leg and hand association with what I want. So, um, so that's what I mean. You can kind of get really creative with this cruise control kind of lesson or basic or really simple like we're doing here right now. Um, because I, um, only got the one hand. And again, that's the other thing too. Uh, when you, uh, start to get to doing, uh, one handed things and no handing thing, no handed, it's again, the cruise control is the same idea. It's just another advanced stage. So again, you can, you know, I can pick the horse up, um, ask her to move her hip over, um, you know, or even do like right now, I could like, right where like she's doing now, she's like almost starting a spin. Walk on. There, Gracie. She's almost starting a spin there, so I could have uh, actually gone ahead with it and asked her to spin a bit. So again, any kind of opportunities you want to throw some stuff in there, or throw some variety in there, it's um, it's good. And of course, as you can tell, uh, because I'm not steering, I I do have the gates closed in the arena. Uh, so that I don't have to worry about where she's going. So anyway, there's my sort of second step. It's like my warm up. Um, and you can actually check a lot of things too if you're not sure what you want to work on for the day while you're cruise controlling. Because hey, here I am, see I'm uh, no handed here. Um, when you're cruise, when you're cruise controlling, and you know you can say, okay, I'll see how you know whatever particular thing is you know that that's going. Like maybe if you're at the stage of cruise controlling at the lope. Um, and you've brought the horse back down to walk for a reward, you can go ahead and check your lope departure. So it's really a very versatile, you know, kind of exercise. Like I said, I've used it for quite a long time, and I like the fact that it relaxes the horses. Um, and like I said, and at the same time teaches them to, their jaw. This, by the way, fixes your gas pedal and your brakes. Um, and like I said, and later you can add in um some steering exercises and and you can work on your steering at the same time so that's great anyway so i hope you enjoyed this cruise control and we'll um have a good day and it's rain or sue and we'll see you in the next video